Hi everyone, my name is Favor and welcome back to Favor's Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made peppered gizzard or how to make peppered gizzard rather. Without wasting much of your time, let's dive into it. <laughs> are my ingredients as you can see that's the gizzard i'm using it's washed and that's the pepper i'll be using three of those pepper it's washed also and i'll be adding two scotch pepper to it i'll be adding it when blending the pepper and onions then i'll be using one big onions to blend the pepper so let's dive into it the gizzard i'm using so i'm going to be putting the gizzard inside the pot then i'll be adding some seasoning cubes some salt some curry powder and i'll add some water give it a stir close it to cook for about 20 minutes wait for the gizzard to get cooked i'm going to be blending the peppers first i'll be chopping it in pieces so that it'll be easy for me to blend because i'm going to be blending it with very little water because i don't want it to be watering then i'm going to be adding the two scotch pepper i forgot to show you guys at the beginning of this video then i will blend yeah this is it after blending hope you guys can see it is not too smooth perfect this is after 20 minutes and I'm going to see if the gizzard is ready. When you want to know if your gizzard is ready, you get a fork and place it on it. If it goes inside without forcing it, that's how you know that your gizzard is ready. As you can see, this is what I just did and the gizzard is ready. So I'm just going to take it out of the pot. I'm going to be frying the gizzard with some vegetable oil on medium heat. Then I'll leave it to fry until it turns brown. how you know your gizzard is ready when frying it it changes color so i'm just gonna bring it out from the oil this is after frying the gizzard i'm still using the same oil just that i reduced it then i'll be adding our chopped onions and leave it to fry for about a minute thereafter i'll be adding our chopped garlic it fries you keep stirring it so that it doesn't get burnt after adding the chopped garlic then you fry for another one minute i'll be adding my blended peppers give it a proper stir and leave it to fry for about 10 to 15 minutes This is after 10 minutes. I'm going to give it a stir so that it doesn't get burnt. Thereafter, I'll be adding my seasoning cubes, my curry powder, my nutmeg, some salt. And I'll give it a stir and leave it to fry for about a minute or two. for about two minutes and the spices are blended with the tomato sauce then i will be adding the fried gizzard and give it a proper stir leave it to fry for about a minute or two so that the gizzard can absorb some of the tomato sauce this is after two minutes and i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you get notification whenever i upload a new video and don't forget to comment down below bye <laughs>
Thank you.